Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Aries the Emperor here, back with another general reading for the Aries Collective. If you are new here, welcome. This is an all Aries channel for all Aries placements. Cross watchers are welcome as well. Just take in mind, guys, that this reading may or may not resonate with everyone. So just simply take what does, leave what does not, place the gender roles where they need to be for you. This is energy. Energy is all fluid. All right. Um, I just wanted to come on here and do a quick message for the Aries Collective and Cross Watchers. Um, today is a very special day, you guys, for me. Um, I became a mom six years ago today. All right. My baby boy is six years old today. And I'm lighting as I'm lighting these candles. Um, so. I am um, celebrating him today and tomorrow, as well as I know I have um, readings to get out to you guys. So I'm going to be working in between that. So just thank you for your patience. Um, it's it's going to be a very busy um, next couple of days for me, but I'm used to it, right? Um, and that may be significant at this time with sun in Virgo, moon in Aries. Like, be careful the load that you are putting on your back at this time, you know, especially Aries moon. Um, you tend to have the energy or you tend to have the, the ideas and the passion um, as a, a, an Aries sun, but it's more emotion. So just make sure you're not biting off more than you can chew here. Okay. Um, we're doing things in moderation, um, but let's jump in and get a message. Thank you guys to those who have, um, who like and subscribe to the channel. Thank you for your donations to those of you who book readings and shop the vegan soy candle shop. I am running the sale, like I promised, um, through the, the end of the weekend. So all services, all vegan friendly products are on sale at this time, 15% off, take advantage. All right, and I see, I, I saw, I glanced at my email and I'll be responding to you guys. I see you, I got you, each and every last one of you guys, especially those who purchase readings, okay? So let's jump into it. Ain't nothing to it but to do it, okay? I'm feeling good today. Even with the haters watching on the sidelines. Ooh, I'm shaking in my boots. Ha, <laughs> never. All right, let's jump into it. Spirit, what you got besides a hater? Ooh, a little bit of money, okay? A little bit of wisdom, a little bit of knowledge, all right, I feel like this is just what it is. It's the Ten of Pentacles here. You could be feeling like money yeah, you know, this weekend here, or, or you could be in the energy of just feeling good about yourself, you know, feeling more ambitious than usual. Like I mentioned, um, Virgo is, is going to be an energy that um, kind of sets up in your mind, you know, step by step. It's an energy of you wanting to put your ducks in a row. And Aries is, is the emotion of, of pushing you towards those ducks and getting them in the water, you know, leading you up to a ten of pinnacle type of situation where you have money, not just now, not just a quick lottery scratch off, but something that's building your character, your integrity and your bank account. And it's going to um, continue to build and help you gain throughout life. You know, it's, it's not temporary. Um, this is something that is, is, is very well so tempered and, and here for the long haul for you if you just, if you do it right, you know, um, and make sure you're giving back to yourself and that you're nurturing yourself as well and taking care of your health. I'm getting something significant about water. Um, Lake Lanier could be significant. Um, Georgia, Oscarville, the town that is said to be underneath Lake Lanier, um, is like a, a, it was like a second Black Wall Street. I'm just getting something significant about that, especially with the temperance energy. This is Sagittarius energy. All right, we have the Hermit. This is Virgo energy. All right, Sun and Virgo. Thank you for clarifying that spirit. Ace of Wands, um, Aries energy, big Aries energy. So. Uh, very well so, you know, this is you taking the time here to step back, you know, get another glance at the project you're working 
on, you know, at the, the person you're deciding to go forward with, you know, or the move you're deciding to make here. You're just getting another glance at it from a different angle here. And, and I feel like you're noticing, you know, it's time to tweak some things in your life, you know, in different areas here. It may be a little foggy, you know, and it's time for you to, to clear that out, you know, especially as you are becoming more into yourself here, you know, and being more confident. Um, I feel like this is an energy that is um, in the works for you. You know, Aries gives you the confidence and the drive, you know, to be able to go out there and do something different, something bigger, something more outside of the box, you know, to, to be more unique here. Um, and, and I feel like in this is something that you're going to have to do here or this is something that um, is definitely a part of your destiny. I'll say that. Okay, we got the Eight of Swords, Gemini energy, and the Eight of Wands, Sagittarius energy. All right, more good news. I feel like someone's in their head about you, you know, now that you've taken the time to step away from them. I feel like someone realizes that you are, you mean more to them than they let on here, you know, and this is somebody that knows better. But at the same time, it still chooses um, to, to do fucked up things. And I feel like they're wanting to reach out to you here. Like four of pentacles is what you don't see at the bottom of the deck. Like you are somebody's, um, you keep somebody grounded and you keep somebody on their toes. But um, for some reason, it's like, it seems like this person can't get right here. Or, or they're always playing some type of game. And it only gets them isolated. It only gets them blocked. Yeah, King of Swords, the full car, Aries energy. It's like, you're not about to be burdened by anything, by anybody, you know, not, -uh -uh, not this time, you know, even if you have to take your things and go, the good karma is following you and you understand that. And so does this other energy here or these other energies. What's that song? I will follow him. Follow him wherever he may go. I love Sister Act. <laughs> All right, what other messages? Spirits. Ah, the magician. Aries energy. This is, oh, the tower. Aries energy. Did I not say you are the value? You know, and not only do you understand that, they understand that shit too. Hmm. Justice and good karma follows you. I can't make this shit up. You know, somebody want to come in and play games and try and sabotage you. Uh, they creating a tower moment for themselves. You're used to it. Like this, your stumping grounds. Like you're like, all right, let's go another round. It's the type of energy here. You know, you're strategic with yours and with with the magician here oh you want to play games yeah come on over here i got a good one for you you know that's the type of energy that this is giving off here you know somebody didn't do their research um somebody had to go back to the drawing board like they had to get another angle another view of you you know in this light show that is of you the experience um that is of the collective here you know, you turn turning heads. I definitely feel that energy. Um, and it's um, a new type of sheriff in town, you know, by the name of Aries, you know, and you bring in justice. I mean, it don't get no better than this. You know, you come with your own sword and your own set of tools and your own set of skills, unique skills. Yeah, queen of swords. And you will respect me. <laughs> this is like Scarface. Like, who do I trust? Me. That's who. Like, literally, nine of cups. Uh-uh. This room is heavily guarded. You need special access, all right, to, to be granted into a room like this here. To even set eyes on a setup like this. To even imagine a drink from one of these cups. 
You know, it took a long time, you know, a lot of blood, a lot of sweat and tears to fill up these nine cups. And you or spirit will be damned if anybody tries to come in and light any of it up. You're going to do the lighting and you're going to do the burning down. <laughs> and I feel like that is very evident to someone at this point here. You know, you stand in more in your power than you know. You know, and, and that's even if you have to kick ass and take names all in the process of doing it. You're doing what you got to do out here at Collective. And I'm proud of you. It's like going to be some lonely days, you know, but don't look at it, you know, as lonely, you know, get to know yourself. You know, you ought to be your own best friend because that's how you came in this world and you're damn sure leaving out that way. So you might want to get comfortable and revel in the spirit of you as others do. You know, it's pretty interesting what you might find out about yourself. Because you are cut above the rest. You know, you're made from a, a unique cloth that they don't make that fabric anymore. That's what the magician is. You know, only you can pull that rabbit out your hat. And you have the gift that spirit has given you to do it over and over and over again. Okay? Rebuild the structure. Refill up those cups. That's why you're the fire of the Zodiac. Light it up, collective. All right. I hope you all have an amazing day. Um, hit that like and subscribe button for more messages from me. Y'all know where to catch me. All right. I'll catch you later, okay? Ciao.